thank you all for being here, and especially to all of the alumni who so generously um, shared their experiences with us this morning. We'll be talking in particular for the second panel on building transferable skills. Um, my name is Amelia Burke. I'm a third year in the Anthropology and History Joint PhD program, and I have the honor uh, this morning of sharing uh, a, a brief introduction of each of our speakers. Uh, so we have Dr. Jamie Hart, who is the co-founder and the executive director of the Coalition to Expand Contraceptive Access in Washington, D.C. Dr. Hart completed both a master's in public health and a history PhD at the University of Michigan, which I will remember the next time I'm complaining about my feelings, uh, where her dissertation research focused on the historical context of reproductive health care and reproductive justice for African American women. Since then, she has worked to provide strategic planning, training and technical assistance, and research and evaluation services for a wide range of federal agencies, states, and foundations, including the NIH National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and directing the Veterans Affairs, Health and Human Services, Housing and Urban Development, and the Department of Labor Homeless Policy Academy's initiative for five years. Her work has included the promotion of nat national HIV prevention efforts, developing frameworks for addressing preconception health and reproductive justice, and studying co-occurring mental health and substance use disorders. Um, she'll be sharing a little bit more about her work uh, within the presentation. We also have Emil Karenji, who is a historian at the Mandel Center for Advanced Holocaust Studies, the Academic Center of the United States uh, Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. Uh, Dr. Karenji received his PhD in history at the University of Michigan in 2008, where he won the Marshall Weinberg Prize for Outstanding Graduate <coughs> in Studies. Before his current position, he was the Raoul Hilberg Fellow at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum and an assistant professor at the at, of history at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. He has authored and co-authored several Holocaust source volumes published by the museum and designed with Leah Wolfson Experiencing History, a digital educational tool offering primary sources for college-level instruction on Holocaust-related topics. We also have with us Dr. Amanda Moniz, who is the David M. Rubenstein Curator of Philanthropy at the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of American History. Uh, before which, she was the Associate Director of the National History Center of the American Historical Association and the Program Coordinator at the AHA. She holds an AB in History from Brown University and received her PhD in Early American History here at Michigan in 2008, and subsequently ha held a Cassius Marcellus Clay Postdoctoral Fellowship at Yale. Dr. Moniz is the recipient of a inaugural Peter Dobkin Hall History of Philanthropy Prize for her 2016 book, From Empire to Humanity, The American Revolution and the Origins of Humanitarianism from Oxford University Press. Uh, and she's written for scholarly and popular audiences about the history of philanthropy and as a former pastry chef, has also pursued various <laughs> public history projects around the history of food. And um, we also have with us this morning Dr. Ambassador Susan Alziada, who has enjoyed a 23-year career uh, with the U.S. Department of State, where she uh, most recently served as the Acting Pr Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Near Eastern Affairs and the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for the Arabian Peninsula Affairs. And that was from 2014 to 2016. <coughs> Um, she served as the U.S. Ambassador to the State of Qatar from 2011 to 2014 and has held senior leadership positions in Riyadh, Baghdad, and Bahrain, as well as postings in Kuwait, Amman, and Jerusalem. Currently a Middle East strategic advisor based in Washington, Dr. Ziad is also an adjunct professor at Georgetown University's Walsh School of Foreign Service. A recipient of the Department of State's Distinguished Honor Award, she also received the Department of State's 2007 Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Public Diplomacy, and the 2014 Arnold L. Raphael Memorial Award for Leadership. Uh, Dr. Ziada earned her PhD here in history at the University of Michigan, um, an MA from the University, I'm sorry, from the American University of Beirut, an MS from the National War College uh, at the National Defense University, and a BA from the University of Washington. And she has also been a Fulbright Scholar in both Egypt and Lebanon. So please join me in welcoming all of our panelists.